your stuff done, chipped, some issues here recently. So let's see. All right, looks like I'm still spinning. We'll give it a minute. Get feedback from you guys. All right, doesn't look too bad. I wonder if it's my uh, extenders that aren't doing too well. All right, so show you what I sold today. A couple quick things. Um, busy day today. I had a soccer game. Took the kids swimming. Um, did not make it to the thrift store, though. We actually did go looking at new cars. So I'll keep you posted about that. Let's see who's in the chat. Alicia, how's it going? Tracy Nevermore. Adam Scott. Charlotte, what's up, guys? Pac-Man. Tracy, Darren. Hey, guys. All right. So I want to share what I sold. Now, I talked about in the uh, uh, title, What Sold Versus Dwindling Inventory. So when I talk about that, I've had a ton of things sell today that have been sitting there forever. Uh, I've had stuff from Blue Lots, I've had stuff from Thrift Store, and I had stuff from Liquidation sell today. So if you get frustrated, just leave it up there. I personally do good till cancel. I let it sit. And a lot of times uh, I'll add best offer after a while if it's not up there. So definitely look at doing that if you don't do it. I know some people don't like good till canceled. It hasn't done me wrong. I'll show you a couple things. So I sold this. This was Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory vinyl. This was actually unopened. I did get this from a liquidation lot. I sold this for $35. They actually paid full price for it. Uh, and if you don't have vinyl boxes and you do sell vinyl, it makes it a ton easier. I ship it first class in the box. Never had an issue yet. Not on wood. But that was 35 bucks. It has been sitting in my inventory forever. Uh, I knew since it was unopened, I would let it sit there. And finally, someone took it. So hopefully you guys had some sales today. I only had, I think, three. Usually for my weekend, it's a little low for me. Usually I ship anywhere between 10 to 15 in the weekend. Today, I have to ship eight. So again, you saw the jersey we talked about the other night. Sold both two of those. I sold another wireless controller. So my wholesale lot of controllers, I think I have one left now. I sold one today. Those are finally gone. Uh, and then working some other stuff. So you guys saw the other jersey that I have. Here's the other one with the tag. Getting that out. So those two are gone. Now my soccer jersey lot's paid for. Uh, this one has been sitting for a couple weeks. If you guys don't know this brand, Treasure Hustlers, how's it going? Two sales today for Darren. A hockey jersey, nice. Hockey jerseys do well. Some sit. I have one that's been sitting. But if you can find hockey stuff, it usually sells pretty well. Joey, sold a Philly shirt today. Been listening forever. Yeah, so I'd like to hear about some of your guys' items that uh, have been sitting for a while that have finally moved. Today has been uh, a slow move day. So these slow movers are finally out of here. Pac-Man's at 21. Wow. Three sales for Catherine. Catherine, nice. Red Neckerson, what's up? All right, so here's another brand. I showed you this before. I bought four of these. Uh, if you can find this polo shirt, it's uh, Sligo, I think it's called. You can see the back. It's kind of spelled out. Uh, these are golf shirts. I, uh, I have multicolors. These are all multicolored. This is a medium. So I sold this one for $24.99. It is pre-owned, but again, it's uh, no stains, rips, or tears. It is awesome. I'm glad it sold. So this shirt paid for that one lot. I bought a uh, bunch of polo shirts that day, a couple things. So I was sitting negative on that lot for a while, but finally that one paid for it. Jay Jewett sold three, including one pair of shoelaces. Awesome. Oh, yeah, that's right. You had that large lot of shoelaces. Yeah, I've heard slow weekend for eBay, besides Pac-Man. Pac-Man had a lot. I think Scott had some. Outdoor, Outdoor Girl has 15. Wow. it's awesome. Rick Moore canceled all 500 listings. Oh, so you're refreshing your listings. See, for me, I've, I, I, the only time I do that is if I get a return uh, or um, – what the other reason a return i usually uh, sell similar keep the photos but i don't ever refresh my listings it's not they just happen to move 
I don't know why. Uh, hey, Tr Sarah Jackie, how's it going? Thanks for joining. Yeah, let's just say it's a slow weekend. All right. So when I talk also about dwindling inventory, my blue lot stuff, I am almost all done. Uh, I got these lots of pilot hats, and they're, these kids play pilot hats. Uh, blue lots is usually pretty good if you can find stuff. Just be wary of the price. Uh, but you can see these came back from FBA. Someone probably recalled them due to storage fees. But I had one sell, and these have been flying off the shelf. I have a bunch of these. These are selling for about $17. Uh, and they're weird, cheapy pilot hats for kids. Make uh, pretend play. So finally, those have been selling. I sold a bunch of those. Um, that's a lot. I had all the crayons that sold. Charlotte had seventeen, waiting on two. Wow. Catherine, Catherine, yeah, we've missed you for a while. Yeah, Adam says good question. Yeah, we just had a bunch of people come in that I think it was one Saturday night. We got uh, wrench happy. When my stuff sits around for a while, like messing with the title sometimes. Oh, messing with the title? Okay, that could help. Uh, have you ever done any real military hats? The fake ones will do good for Halloween. Um, I have real military pants. They're size small. I have three of them. They have not sold yet. That's the only... Um, the only pair of pants or only military stuff that I have. And I think I have one uh, military fatigue uh, shirt haven't sold for me. I've uh, been relisting, fixing up good till canceled over 90 days and 15 sold on one, five on the other. Nice. So it looks like maybe they do help you. I am going to go and do some promotions. So I'm going to get that done. Uh, again, blue lot stuff. I sold through all my bike seats. There's two in here. So uh, these have finally moved. I am going to try and see if I can find bike seats again. But I had, I think I sold through 65 of them. So 65 bike seats, $11 each, uh, 350 shipping, 334 in shipping, depending on what packaging I did. But those have done uh, better than expected. Once summer hit, they flew. Once uh, winter, when I first got them in winter, they weren't moving. It looks like military items do well, says Red Nickerson. Nice. I do look for them when I can find them, but no, other than that, I don't. Uh, I don't. Um, don't find them. Otherwise, the ones I have, I haven't sold yet. All right. So the last piece of inventory that I've been sitting on is probably my most interesting piece. I had it up for a hundred and eight dollars. Promos is where it's at, says Pac-Man. That's why so many sellers were so unhappy when they changed the policy around. Yeah, I have I rarely touch promos. I probably should touch them more. Um, but I need to because I have some other the slow inventory that's not moving. Uh, and there, it's not a seasonal category item, so I need to get it moved. All right, so this last piece I got off Shop Goodwill. I had it up for, I bought it for $16. I had it up for $108. Um, and finally I took a best offer today, took a best offer of $80. So it's a Polaroid land camera. Uh, I'll show you what's really neat about this. It has the box and it comes with this. So it comes with uh, exposure meter and, uh, orange filter. So it comes with all these. So for 80 bucks, what's nice is I'll be able to fit it in the regional box, depending where it's going. It is really heavy. So they got all this stuff. It still has the stickers on it. All these old Broward photo. So a lot of cool things I think sold today. Hmm. Um, looks like Outdoor Girl just started promos. No sales. Yeah, I still have... Um, I did that promo with uh, Charlotte, if you're still in here, with the Razor's Back polo shirt. That hasn't sold yet. I've had that forever. All right, so here's the camera. If you can find old Polaroid cameras, some do well, some don't. Again, I had this for a while, so I say this one did well, but you can see here it has all the old school writing on it. It does open and flip like it should. It has the lens on it. So it's a pretty cool piece. It's just really heavy, uh, and I would only buy this just because I could fit it in a regional A box. Otherwise, oversized, it would probably be a pain to deal with see what else we have in here so a lot of the cool things in here 
Oops. All right, got that. Now it, ha it has all the instruction manuals. There you go, Polaroid Land Film. It has the uh, old style manual with it. Uh, it has all these promotional items in here, which is kind of cool. And there you go, it has all of this, Minute Magic. The coolest thing I thought was it had a letter in here. So here's the letter. We have a new coach, but not very excited for Razorback football. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Now it had the accessories kind of booklet in here. Now I listed all this in the uh, in the listing. Uh, here we go. So it said Polaroid Corporation, Cambridge, Massachusetts. So it had this letter. Basically, and I think the gist of it is, uh, tell them about our products. If the dealer doesn't have anything in stock, basically telling the buyer about their policy, which is pretty cool. And the customer service guy or person signed it. So that never happens anymore, right? So that's kind of cool. Basically, we appreciate your business. Um, old style email. There you go. Customer service, thank you for buying. Please leave your feedback. But I thought that was pretty neat with the old letter and everything. Shop Goodwill takes so long to ship dough. Yes, it does. Uh, what I like about Shop Goodwill is that um, the one next, the one uh, that I can pick, I can pick up. So, what I like to do on Shop Goodwill is I look for the uh, locations nearest to me, and then the one I pick up from is actually the bins I go to, and uh, I can go pick it up. So I will win a bunch of auctions, and I will go pick pick up the uh, the actual listings and that saves on shipping otherwise uh, yeah shipping does take a little while so you do have to uh, layer that in if I find something that is not local to me I'll pay for shipping just be wary though just like liquidation.com you have to go in and do your shipping quote because I think I bought uh, my first auction I ever won was one Zelda Nintendo game and uh, I think I won it for about seven bucks but shipping was eight dollars because they're just using any shipping that they want to. Um, but yeah, just be careful on shipping. Uh, wonder what Urban Meyer will get fired. Oh yeah, so Urban Meyer, if you guys don't follow college football, uh, there's supposedly a domestic violence uh, case against one of his coaches. Now this is me knowing what I know. I don't know everything about this case, but uh, supposedly he didn't bring it up. I don't know if charges got dropped, but he never alerted anybody to it. And it finally came out uh, through the ex-coach now. His wife brought it up. Uh, supposedly they're crazy, allegedly. Uh, so now he's under investigation for potentially lying, but who knows. Yeah, Shop Goodwill, you can find some great stuff. Good jewelry. Um, definitely look out there. I, I used to look out there every day, just like liquidation. I haven't gotten into doing it. Property auction does that too. The shipping is crazy. Yeah, it's like they have no, it's nothing in their best interest to um, optimize their shipping because you're paying for it. So they don't care. They'll ship a priority. Um, but, and, you know, it's good. It's good if you want to find onesie twosie items. So property auction. I'll have to look into that. I've never heard of property auction. Carol Love Shop Goodwill. Yeah. Carol got me into it, Adam. That was the issue. And that was the issues. I used to, I had a ton of stuff from there. I just haven't done it. Also, you can find game lots, which are great. So if you like video games and consoles, usually you can find them pretty cheap. Uh, just be careful, again, of uh, bidding and um, that sort of thing. But I have found great stuff on there. I want to make my own eBay store. Joe, reach out or ask questions if you want to know uh, what to do. Yeah, it's all priority treasure hustlers. It's all uh, it's shady. <laughs> yeah, just you just got to go through and do your due diligence. Otherwise, you will get burned on shipping. So that was my solds for the day, guys. Finally, some stuff's going through. So don't get discouraged if you have stuff sitting in your in your store for a while. It eventually will sell. Keep on topping it. It looks like people are doing promoted listings. Um, Markdown manager will create some sales uh, and just get it out there. Is it is Chris's fault that I got to looking at Shop Goodwill? Well, I'm glad I got to pass the goodwill on to you. The goodwill on to you. So, 
look at the Walmart liquidation site. I'll have to look at that. Should have my listings up to 54 today. Yeah, Scott, you've had some awesome your 60 day mark for having 54. Well, whatever you had fit 30 or uh, 30 or 40 listings. Your 60 day total was pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, Adam, thanks for sharing that. If you guys aren't joining the group, come over to the group. We have a lot of you guys sharing great pictures, great stories. Um, it's helping me. It's informative. So thanks for joining, guys. Uh, I sell Mercari, but I need a bigger audience. Yeah, Joe, definitely get on eBay. If you need help, come over to the group. We'll help you out. But eBay is my main selling channel, and I'm trying to get on up on Amazon. So that's where we're at. Otherwise, this week will be tough. I got a lot of stuff with work. Um, my day job, so it might be tough for me to get thrift store, but I'm gonna try to bring some more content for you guys, as well as some of my eBay or eBay to Amazon flips. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you have a good. I'll let you get back to your Sunday evening, get your listings up, get some product, get some some death piles. I got a lot of death piles last night. I listed all my 50 ties as one lot. Those are listed. Uh, get some stuff up there. Get a listing a day. See you in the group. Hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, we'll see you tomorrow. Hit the subscribe button, the little bell, and hopefully I'll see you on Instagram. Thanks, Darren, for the super chat. Hey, <laughs> John's murder is death pile. Nice. Joe, Mercari is great, um, but it's slow for me. It might, some people love it and moves just like eBay, but test all platforms. We'll see you in the group. See you guys.